makeup wipes really that bad? And if so, how bad are they? We always hear about how makeup wipes are a terrible idea, how they don't remove things from the face completely, how they're not biodegradable all the time, they can cause damage to the skin, they can pull and tug and just not clean your face. But is that actually true? It's something I share all the time, but I decided I wanna put that to the test. I wanna test double cleansing side-by-side -side makeup wipes and see what residue is actually left on our skin, if any. Are these motherfuckers as terrible as we have been led to believe? Let's put double cleansing to the test alongside these makeup wipes by using a woods lamp, basically dermatology grade UV light, as well as my pores and um, science. Double cleansing is very popular and it is the premise of using something like an oil-based balm to remove sunscreen and heavy makeup and then using a regular cleanser, maybe even an acne treatment cleanser to cleanse the skin, to give your skin a targeted active, an antioxidant, or just to make sure that it's clean. And as someone who struggled with acne all my life, a lot of my acne was from not washing my face properly and having dirt and debris and basically dead skin cells stuck on my pores, on my face, causing issues that led me to break out. But but sad confession, I used to heavily rely on makeup wipes because I did not know about double cleansing. I literally have Target hauls that are still live on this channel where I'm talking about the Neutrogena makeup wipes that I love so much. And I'm sitting there with a full face of breakouts because newsflash, 20 year old Cassandra, that shit wasn't working for you. And a lot of other people still use these. Literally, Kim Kardashian in her Skkkkkkin promo video started off her entire video by removing her makeup with makeup wipes. Like, a lot of people still use these. And we always hear about how terrible they are and why double cleansing is so much better. But I had to ask myself, Cassandra, are you just sitting in an echo chamber? Are you just parroting all of the things that you have heard thus far? So instead of just believing that makeup wipes are terrible, let's put them to the test. Let's see if they are actually convenient and helpful and remove everything off the skin, maybe even better than double cleansing, or are they even worse than we previously thought? And as a critic and a skeptic, I wanted to check my own bias blind spots. So let's take the double cleanse versus the makeup wipes and a UV light. Let's put them to the test today. And to assist me in conducting this experiment, I have myself a wood slap. Now, what is a woods lamp, you may ask? Well, great question. This is actually a device used in dermatology that literally shoots UV light at the skin. And it helps doctors and dermatologists visualize things such as fungal infections, such as irregularities in the skin, and even different pigmentation disorders like vitiligo. Even things like porphyrin, if you do have acne, which, um, hi, spoiler alert, I do. <laughs> This is basically a UV light with a magnifier. This is super fancy, super fun, super wonderful for visualizing those things in a dermatology clinic, but it also works on UV makeup, which yes, I ordered from Amazon. It has arrived and I am ready to put it on my face and someone else's face because you know, why have friends when they could be guinea pigs? So let's cover my face and Doris's face in this UV makeup. Let's use a double cleanse to remove half of the face. And then let's use makeup wipes to remove the other half. Afterwards, when it looks all clean to the eye, we're going to visualize it with the woods lamp to see, is there any UV makeup left over? To see if the makeup wipes are actually that bad or if they're terrible and worse than we thought, or if the double cleansing sucks. Or if it's great, I, I don't know. What do, you, what do you think is gonna happen? Is it really worth it to double cleanse? Just because it's a popular trend doesn't necessarily mean it's right. And are makeup wipes really that terrible? I mean, they are convenient. Maybe these are unsung heroes that we've just been, you know, given a bad rap to. So instead of just perpetuating these things that we hear in the industry, it is officially time to put them to the test. Hey, that blush though. Okay, okay. <laughs> Cassandra looks like she just did makeup for the first time. <laughs> you do. Me when I found my mom's makeup. You know? We ready to party! <laughs> oh my god! That's crazy, dude. Oh 
Well, these are some looks. So now it's time to pull back our hair and remove it side by side and see how this actually pans out. Are we ready to put this to the test? Yes. Okay. I've never been to that here. I'm going to use a makeup wipey on the righty and a double cleanse on the left. So I'm going to actually kind of section off my face. I'm going to start with my Oat Bomb Cleanser. I'm going to get a nice squirt because there's a lot of makeup on the face. And I'm just going in mm -hmm. like so. And the whole thing behind a double cleanse is that that first cleanse is supposed to break down dirt, oil, waterproof makeup, etc. And then the second one is supposed to give you any treatments that you need and then remove anything excess that wasn't removed in the first place. I mean, I feel like that's pretty double cleanse or first cleanse. That's a good oat bomb cleanser, I must say. Getting all that stuff off, I think. <laughs> now that I've done this first cleanse, I'm going to do this second cleanse. This is the hyaluronic acid cleanser. It's nothing special, but it's just a good one. And I usually feel clean after I use it, so I'm hoping that it will clean off my face, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, this is some heavy stuff. As you can see, it's still a little in my hairline, but that's okay. This cleanser hits hard, like it goes. All right, now we're going to towel dry. And so far, that looks clean, right? Yeah, it looks, I think you did a pretty good job. They got all of your, all of your makeup off. I mean, there's a little bit back here, but hey, we tried to double cleanse. It looks clean. Looks like it'll be better. I am going to switch up the makeup wipes. I was going to use these, but I realized I don't want them to dry out and be in, you know, wrong. These I actually like. They're fragrance free, they're for emergencies, they're big. Let's use one of these. I actually do like these, I just don't like makeup wipes. So let's try these. So on this side, we will do a wipe. I mean, this is a lot faster. So, I mean, take a look at this. It looks like I've removed everything from both sides. I think you did a pretty good job. See a little bit of pink, maybe on the makeup wipe side on your cheek? No, that's just my cheek. Oh, erythema from really? swiping yeah. at it. Okay. I mean, I see nothing. All right, so. I have just a little bit of a skin patch here. That's just what I have. But overall, like if I looked at this, I'd be like, oh, she has no makeup on. She's ready to go to bed, right? Right. Like I feel super clean. So let's see how well this actually did its job. So <gasps> is it bad? Oh my God. Wait, is it bad? I yeah. see the residue on both sides, more so on the makeup wipe side, but Ooh. wow. It's all around the edges of your face, especially. Especially your eye, yeah, too. You're never supposed to look at a woods lamp because it is UV, so please keep that in mind. That is very, very important, but I need to see what this looks like for myself. <gasps> that is so bad! Oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot a spot here. I forgot some here. <gasps> this eye is still totally this, lying. Oh my god, this is so bad. Oh my god, look at inside of my pores. Oh my god, it's like in my skin. It's like in my pores, whereas this one, it's like not. It's not in there. It's absolutely all over here. It's like it didn't remove it from inside of my pores. It's crazy. This is unreal. <gasps> oh my god, though. Yo, that's so bad. Okay, ready? Now we're gonna turn off the lights. Oh my god. Oh, uh, it's that god. bad? It, it's, oh my god. It's that bad? Yeah. Oh my god. I really got in there. I tried oh, wait, so wait. hard. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This I really scary. thought I did something. Uh, mm. Oh my god. Oh, whoa. You're so beautiful. 
Oh, like, like there's a lot. There's a going lot. On That's here. crazy. I don't have very. Oh deep my god, wait, it's on this side too. You, you. It looks like Mardi Gras just threw up all over. <laughs> but wait, it is worse on the makeup arm side. Take a look. Take a look. Oh my god. Yeah. Whoa. So Whoa. I tried so hard, and I did such a worse job than you. That's so crazy, and in the end, it didn't even matter. <laughs> so, children, what did Elmo learn today? Makeup wipes? Yeah, good job. <laughs> but honestly, it's not just the makeup wipes that are bad. This entire pseudo experiment actually kind of shocked me because yes, double cleansing was better, but it wasn't flawless. And it goes to show how much stuff is really left behind if we don't cleanse our skin well. And when you think about it, if that's like sunscreen or skincare that you're wearing throughout the day, sure. But what if that's dirt and grime? What if you went swimming in something? What if you applied heavy makeup or something that on the skin clogged your pores. Again, makeup doesn't necessarily cause acne or certain skin conditions, but if you have sensitivities, especially to certain minerals or something like gold that could be in cosmetics and that's like getting into your skin, I don't know. Gold is okay in some skincare and makeup. I actually like it in some skincare, but it can cause allergies. And then there's red number 40, which can cause some people to break out. This was really surprising. And we know that makeup wipes are not a number one choice, but I will always give credit where credit is due. And in an emergency, in a pinch for someone who has a different ability or a disability, for someone someone who doesn't want to walk over to the sink and you're not going to do your skincare routine if it's not in a sack of wipes or if you're traveling. As Caroline Hyren said, they're for fannies, festivals, and emergencies. And they do have a place in a gym skincare routine, but really the double cleanse is where it's at. But I think that what this has overall taught me is that even with a double cleanse, you need to do your due diligence. You know, follow Nye, the Golden RX, and do that 60 second cleanse rule. Make sure that you're actually caring for your skin, kind of get by that hairline and just, you know, do your due diligence. And you know, on the flip side of that coin. Remember that perfect doesn't exist. Caring for your skin is about caring for it, not being perfect, not scrubbing everything until it's overly clean. And I could definitely see, you know, an experiment like this. I'm so glad that these are not readily available to consumers. This is a professional, literally a dermatology device. And I think they use it in veterinary offices as well, but that could cause a lot of anxiety in some people, you know, thinking that your face is dirty or having that perception. And I want to remind you that if you psychologically feel that way, go see a therapist, go see a psychodermatologist and speak about that because it's natural for our skin to always have something. It's not about being perfect. It's not about being clean. It's about doing the best with what we've got and trying to make sure that it works for us long term. I also wonder if other cleansers or other brands of makeup wipes would have slight or subtle differences. I feel like this was a really good experiment, especially seeing it both on my face and on Doris's face. I felt like that was really interesting just to see the way maybe we cleanse our faces differently. Overall, it was a pretty shocking, what would I say, an electrifying experience. I definitely learned a few things about my, my pretty pores. And that's all I have to say about that. Subscribe! Like the video! Tell us what other bathroom countertop science you want. I'm waiting and reading the comments. <laughs> Reapply that SPF. Wash it off at the end of the day. Do not look directly at the UV lights protruding from the woods lamp with your bare eyes. I can't wait to see you in this next video. <laughs> Love you guys. Bye.